Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick tip on how to make your time plans easier to navigate with some simple conditional formatting. So let's have a look and see what I mean. So here I've got a time plan and there's a whole series of levels and content in here, which if I expand out, you can see, again, there's a lot, lot here to take in. And personally, I find it visually very difficult to recognize and see the difference between the various levels and stages. So I like to add in a different way to be able to see the hierarchy. Now, clearly you can do this just by manually doing it each time. So if I'm gonna collapse all, that's level one, I can color this in um, using my colors here. And so I can just turn that into a, let's just say um, blue with, and then you've got to click on white text and I can do this. And then the, if I expand it out the next level down, I can choose a different color and do it in this way. So if I'm going in, um, I'm going to select a lighter blue in this instance and off we go. And yes, okay, so that's one way of, if I expand all, you can see it's a bit easier to navigate, but then you've got further levels down below. And then what happens if you then decide to indent another item, you've got to go in and manually do it. Personally, I find this a bit clunky and yeah, for each time you do, you do a project. So the way I like to do it is using a simple formula. Now I can leave these in because they will disappear in a moment, um, or I can just get rid of them. And by doing that, I am going to clear all formats. Um, and so here we go, just trying to click clear all formats and on to clear format. Okay, so obviously I've got left some here. In terms of the formula that I use, so I've got a little hidden column here, which is called level. And within here, if I click onto that, I have a count if formula. And what this is doing is it's saying, does the row have any children? If it has got children, i.e. the number of children is greater than zero, then what it wants to do is count how many parents it has. And therefore it gives you an indicative number of the parents. So if we come out of this, you can see this top one, it has children, but it doesn't have any parents. So that's a zero. This one, it is the one level down and you'll see design equally is one level down and it has one parent. And so that is why that's showing there. And then each level down below goes uh, at a higher number. And the ones which don't have any children don't have a number at all. So what I do is I put in this formula again, if count the children and then the task name row, which is this one, if it's greater than zero, then count how many ancestors. And what I will do with this one is I then turn it to be a column formula like so, and you can see that's in. And then this column, I just hide. So there we go, it's hidden. Again, that doesn't help the formatting, but this is where I turn on conditional formatting. So now I add in a new rule and I go set a condition and I go level. If the level is zero, okay, then I'm gonna apply this format. I'm gonna choose, in this case, a different color. So I'm gonna go black and I'm going to use white text in this case. So here we go. And that is added. So now that's added at one level. Let's just keep going and I'm switching it back on again. And what I can do now is I can just clone the rule and I can say level one and turn off there and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change the format to be a slightly different color. And so I'm going to have a slightly lighter gray and then I can clone that yet again, clone the rule and put in level two and OK. Change the format again, change the shade of gray and this time I'm going to change the text color to be black just to make it easier to see. And then there's one more level as well. So if I clone the rule again and go down to level three, so I turn that here and click OK. Then this format and one more time, I go to the lightest shade of gray on this spectrum and now I can click OK and it'll disappear. Now, what you can see now is this is easier to navigate in that all the items are showing with the different colors. If I now decide to indent various items, you can see I've indented and immediately it changes the color 
And if I indent this one further, it changes the color as well. So personally, I find this way easier to navigate and a really great way to be able to see your plan and for others to be able to navigate it very easily um, with a bit of conditional formatting. So trust that's been useful and more videos to follow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.